What's up guys, Spiritual Lemonade back with another video. Today we're checking out a documentary, which is interesting because I've never checked out anything like this before. Uh, you might want to buckle up because this is a long video, but it's worth it. I've been waiting to sit down to watch this till I was reacting to it. Hylum dropped a documentary of his time at Refuge Nights. Refuge Nights, it's similar to Manic Nights, where there's like just a bunch of artists and they're doing a set for each artist. I think they had a speaker too, delivering like a little message. This this is exciting because I was hoping to be at that show and I wasn't ending up, I didn't em end up making it. But I'm ready to get into this because I've been it's been out for a few days and I haven't seen it, so we're gonna hop right into this documentary. Um, I'm not gonna waste too much time because this is a half hour long. I don't know how much I'm gonna pause either, but if I if I recognize people in the vlog, I'm gonna stop and talk about it. But yeah, let's get right into this. So where are we going? Am I zoomed in by the camera? No, you're not. We're on the way to the airport. On the way to the airport. The enemy has decided to start making my throat hurt the day before the show when it hasn't hurt at all. So I'm trying to save my voice a little bit and I'm praying that like it stops hurting because I've worked my butt off and been rehearsing like crazy. So but we're going to the airport, picking up Danmar. Hey, Danmar's shout out Danmar. Thing. And then Drew did it. Her name's Lillian. Her Drew name's did Lillian. it. She's a goat. You probably have seen her Instagram reels because she's like super famous and like such a celebrity. Yeah, Danmar. We in Baton Rouge, baby. Baton Rouge, right, right, right. Hey, we got Danmar in the house right now. Let's go. The B&B, right? Oh, also known as your what? So this is my room right here. You know, we got the bed. You know what it is. Praying by the bed? We got the TV just about the day, brand new. It's a 7 5 in. We out here. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a bed right here. This way it get down. But we're 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 we gotta get married first, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the bathroom right here. This is where. You know, we got to walk out. in. Wait, this is actually. Ain't really nothing nice. different. This is really nice. What else would it be? It's the walk in. Why? Why is it your room? Cause, cause it is. Yeah. Right? Cause the Bible verse. Right, right, right. All right, come out here. This is the fridge. Stocked up. You feel me? Stock up. What do we got? We got the catfish. Catfish, catfish. baby. Is that like a delicacy over in Louisiana? I've never had catfish before. The catfish. All right, come on right here. That's the kitchen. That's Josie. Josie. Her name's not Josie. <laughs> hey, Josie. It's it's Jory. This is Drew right here. Hey, what's up, man? We picked him up off the street. Let's fill that. <laughs> Yo, Drew did it. Let's go. He tells me I should drink my coffee in a sip <laughs> so, I'm in the Airbnb right now. Who just pulled up? Who is this? Danmar. <laughs> Let's see okay. what Danmar's doing. I don't oh. know who that was, but... Oh, they made room for Jesus. All right, we're good. Oh. <laughs> we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. You gotta make and, room for right. Jesus. And the anointing oil and the room for Jesus. Why do you move it when I walked out? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I miss you so much. We have Drew simping with his girlfriend in his room. <laughs> Say hey, Kayla. <laughs> Hi. That poor man, get the groceries. The groceries. So I'm trying to pull up a picture that Drew did it is in with me. Um, I actually met kind of met him at a concert in Nashville. It was like my first concert that I went to on my own after I graduated from high school. And it was at the Long Live the Hype Tour with Jude Barclay. But um, I was at the concert and I was with a friend and I didn't know who Drew Did It was before the concert. But afterwards he was like, yeah, that's Drew Did It. He's a producer from like around here. So he lives kind of close to where I am, I think. Okay, we're getting closer. Right here. So Drew did it right here. My friend Micah. And then I'm right here. And then there's Zay Hill. There's Kyle. That night was crazy. That was probably my favorite concert that I've 
really been to other than Smokefest. Just because there's so many good memories from that night. There was like not a huge crowd. I met GJ Rome there, I think. But um yeah, I just wanted to try and find that picture for you guys. This your Zara receipt. It's just sitting on the back. <laughs> 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 I love you, man. Have a great day. God bless you, bro. Thank you. What a goat. Yes, sirs. Yeah. Oh, my God. Caleb, what did you do? The Petho Bismol is crazy. Yo. <laughs> I'm about to chug this whole thing. <laughs> Bro is sipping on that Pepto Bismol. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, it looks like we're at a party. Yeah. <laughs> Pepto <laughs> shot. Yeah. That actually was kind of good. Really? Yeah. That looks fresh. <laughs> that looks fresh. That yeah. Looks fresh. Looks fresh. <laughs> Hit the gritty. Hit the gritty. Is that the crowd doesn't get tired out. And also, you could, this is just an idea down the road, make it like a conference where it's like multiple days and That'd you have so multiple sick. speakers. We have so many connections. Like a like festival, with yeah. With Sia and Avery and all those people, we have them come out and speak. Right. And like people that are ordained or whatever. We could probably get like John, John Pacuta. People like that. If we did it as a conference, we could honestly probably use a church as well. That'd be fire. Y'all should That's come, just an idea. Y'all should come yeah. to Like, what, what you're doing is amazing. What? what? And it's really good. So, like, I really like that. I feel like we can almost, like, just, like, keep this as, like, like, there'll be refuge concerts. And then, like, every, like, three years, there'll be, like, a big refuge conference. That would be really cool because I feel like already I missed out on the first refuge nights I really missed out on this one so I, I really do want to try and make it to if he does one next year I'll try and make it out next year You know what's crazy, bro? Like, my throat was hurting so bad until I started worshiping. Come on, mm. And like, I was scared. I was scared to worship. I was scared to worship because my voice, and I was like, if I don't have a voice to worship God, like, I won't have a voice to do my own thing. And like, as soon as I started worshiping, literally my throat pain went away. And I'm not saying like, it's gonna be like, oh, like, it's a miracle just happened. Like, I'm not saying it isn't, but like, you know, if I wake up tomorrow and my throat hurts again, I'm not going to be disappointed we'll in God. Again. Hello? We'll worship again. Hello? Yeah, like, all I know is it's like, this is kind of just like God, like, giving like a sweet moment of like, I will take care of you if you just do it for me. Yeah. You know, like, I'm trying to cry. That's crazy. You too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like, bro, it's just, uh, I've, what a moment, bro, to catch on camera. What the heck? <laughs> uh... But now, nah, it's like, I've been stressed now, like, all day, like, just, like, trying not to, like, get to my head. I know I've, like, mentioned a few times, like, I woke up and, like, like, outwardly, like, I keep telling myself, like, yeah, like, I'm just gonna have faith, like, everything's gonna be okay, but, like, 
low key, like deep inside, like I've just been like flashing back on like all the money I put into this and like every single hour I've spent rehearsing and like just like countless hours and like money that I didn't even have that God blessed me with. Yeah. And like I'm just like wow, like why now? Like you know, like I put all this effort in. I've been like trying not to like get to my head. It's just like this moment, just like there's just sometimes like we'll be just sitting there and it's just like God hits us like, you know, I, I love you and like this is your desire that's on your heart and I'm gonna take care of that and I'm gonna nurture it because you give it to me. Yeah. Even though it's hard to give like things to God sometimes, like it's hard it can be hard to give our anxiety to him, but like it always like, works out. Yeah. It's like it's, good. it's a crazy moment, bro. Yeah. Emotional. And getting delivered and everything that I have been praying and preparing for happened. What are your thoughts on this situation? I'm excited. I want to run it back to this part. It's three things. First one, Dan Marr. He went crazy on that guitar. I did not know he could play guitar. Uh, two, this was a fire like camera shot right here. Just getting that whole thing on camera. Um, and three, if anyone ever says Hylum needs auto-tune, that's Cap. Because he just proved that he literally doesn't even need auto tune. He's got an amazing singing voice without it. Everything that I put into it was worth it, so I could see that. Stop the Holy Spirit. So true. That can't stop someone from saying yes to Jesus. That's like, what am I really here for? Yeah. Yeah. So good. That's really what are your thoughts on this situation? I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so hyped. You have no idea. <laughs> Like little Miss Short White Wisconsin girly popping up to a rap concert, it's gonna be crazy. They're gonna be like, Who is this girl? Wait, what if there's no cheese there? I'll be okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the situation? Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. It would have been so crazy for me to be able to meet Grant the Kid. We go far back. Um, I met him on SoundCloud, and I he was one of the first people I think that he collabed with. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we had two songs, Let It Shine, I think is what it was called, and then one other one. I'm shining my light in the dark like a star in the middle of the night, maybe, was this, the name of the song. Um, and he ended up getting involved in our the rap group that I was in that I helped start called TOA, the opening act. Um, but he wasn't in there for that long, and we ended up not really making too much music together as a group. But it would have been a full circle moment being able to meet Grant the Kid because I've, I've known him for literally basically since he started on SoundCloud. It's your boy, Sia that Legend, a.k.a. What Up RG Son. Same with Saya. A lot of people don't know. I do have a few songs with Saya that I legend. We're here at Refuge Nights in Gonzales, Louisiana. It's not even Louisiana. a Mexican state. But you know what? I have Grant the Child. <laughs> the whitest dude here. I have everyone's favorite I am actually. youth pastor. Man, I'm here in Louisiana. Boy, they finna call me Anthony Hamill. Uh. Call me Kendrick because they're not like us. Uh. Oh, I don't cuss. Uh. I don't smoke. Uh. I don't drink. What? All I do is just think. Oh. Yo. Yeah. I don't pop a pink. Oh, I've hey, got yo. a drink. I don't know what. <laughs> you don't. Whoa, that was crazy.
How many problems are we having right now? None right now. Are you serious? None right now. I would say this is gonna be sick. Yeah. It's gonna be sick. Why is there Soldier Boy playing in the background? What? Soldier Boy, tell him. We'll see how it goes. Um. Yeah. What in the hundred gram looking is this? What? You don't seem as confident as the others. I'm tired. I'm just kidding. He does kind of look like hundred gram though. I feel you better. I'm damn. <laughs> Lillian, where's your moves, bro? Uh, wow. <laughs> Could it be better? Right now, right now could be better. it could. Right now, we're just kind of. Oh, you think we'll figure out by the time EQ, of the show? Yeah, I think once I think we'll figure it out eventually. Um, yeah. We're just trying to EQ everything, so not it's not like what? breaking people's okay, ears. Okay, so this guy must do some of the sound for the night. Right. You are doing amazing. Very grateful for y'all. Nine, and we had like this group of friends. Everybody was like nine, ten, and then we, me and my brother started. LLC Flame right here. I don't know what his name is individually. I should know. I think it's Sam maybe. Um, or maybe that's the other one. But that's crazy that he had LLC Flame there. Lecrae, and we were like, oh, this is cool. Like, rap is cool. And at the time, my mom was like, rap is bad. Like, you can't listen to Toby Mac. No. So we wouldn't no, listen. No Toby Mac. No Toby Mac. Crazy. I was booty cheeks at singing. Like, I was horrific. <laughs> Like horrible, and like my parents. That's my my beautiful mom in the back. I only say she's beautiful because she looks just like me. Um, <laughs> and then that's my dad in the back. I look nothing like him, but he's handsome, I guess. Did someone inspire y'all to be a singer? Um, in all honesty, one of our good friends, Jude Barclay, inspired me. Um, Jude Barclay. Do one of y'all have a phone charger? Yeah. <laughs> I left mine at home, Charlie. I'm sorry. Saya, thy legend, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. This whole thing. I believe, um, I, I heard a word last night about breaking cycles. Uh, it actually really spoke to me because I have been dealing with the same. I think just, I see liberation from a lot of generational curses happening tonight. And uh, I hope to contribute to that anyway. The Holy Spirit allows me to. Mm -hmm. I have two songs, they're both unreleased. Uh, I'm actually diagnosed with something called adipsia. So like Deadpool, how he doesn't feel pain. I don't feel hunger or thirst physically. Mm. So I wrote a song about how I felt like, not just, I, it's not even about me losing it physically, it's about me losing it spiritually. So I did fall into like some, the, the same thing, the cycles. I think that song's gonna hit. I also wrote a song about my sister who passed away when I was like nine years old. Uh, and one of my first time performing it for like a whole crowd. I actually brought her portrait down the hall while I was performing, but I just want to honor her and tell her story. Uh, she had charts in her, her whole life, and, but like she was always just, you know, that miracle child when it came to like surgeries and stuff. And then it's just showing that God really is sovereign through anything that's going on. And, like, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was supposed to repent, but my grace of God is still right here. Thank you. Right now, I feel ready to give y'all a little bit of what's been inside it recently to go for it.
show and like i'm ready for that song to drop the we ain't done yet song um he teased that song a little bit on kevy k's stream actually i think it was the whole song i think uh kevin ellis were like reacted to the whole thing but that song is crazy that's one of Saya's best songs what does it mean to you I actually just had a heart surgery last friday uh, I had attack of cardio well, all the way it's gone. Um, I'm not gonna lie. And people told me I was gonna make it. I didn't think I was, in all honesty. And you know, I, it's it's not comfortable thinking of like, dang, your last day is coming up soon. I really was treasuring more, but like the second I got out of it, it was like a really big just breath of fresh air from the Holy Spirit. Just to me, it felt like I survived like a war with my body. So. Sure, that's not spiritual, spiritual, but it's like also like the biggest miracle God could pull before, especially come down here to perform. Wow. Grant the kid, let's get it. <laughs> I think God's gonna move a night in a crazy way. I think uh, people are gonna come alive, and I think that people that haven't even, you know, necessarily maybe experienced Jesus or felt the Spirit move, are they're gonna feel it tonight. I feel like uh, everyone here has been working so hard, been praying, and been like intentional with uh, Jesus, and I think that He's going to use us, and our words are going to impact the kingdom, and yeah, it'll be really good. Good. And then, what is your most? That crowd looked hyped for real. Um, was it impactful? Your most impactful song and why? My most impactful song, I would say, is I'm a Wreck. I think I have a, I've had a lot of people um, tell me that they have related and that it's something that I feel is a very humbling song. Because it's me coming and saying, okay, I messed up. I, uh, you know, I'm not doing the best that I can. And, you know, like really just taking accountability and like for your actions and being okay with the consequences. Um, I think that would be most, my, my most impactful song. Yeah. Have you Grant the kid looks so tall. I'm like I'm not even gonna say my height because I'm way shorter than him probably, but he looked tall on that stage. Experienced spiritual warfare leading up to the show. Oh I've experienced a lot of spiritual warfare. Uh... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I I definitely experienced spiritual warfare leading up to this show. Uh, Satan wants to, you know, stop this. He he knows that this is going to be powerful. Mm -hmm. He knows that we are all coming from a pure heart, something that, that you know we're on fire for the Lord. And uh, I've uh, whether it's you know thoughts or whether it's uh, you know doubt, anxiety. Um, or even just, I know yesterday even, I was nervous because I thought I was going to get sick. I was, uh, but yeah, I didn't end up doing it because we prayed and uh, I think mm. the Lord's protecting and he's moving. LLC Flame, let's go. Hey, hey, you going to turn that down? Uh, this is 
It's just an appreciation for what God has done for each and one, and every one of us. We are blessed. We are so blessed. Even though we go through things and struggles, just know you are blessed, right? Preaching up there, Dan Moore up next. Let's get it. Expecting God to do, um, move. It's a really simple answer, but uh, we've been praying into this a lot. Um, Hobbs put in a lot of work into this. We've been doing a lot of praying, um, fasting. Um, we really want, you know, the people that come to to find Christ and hear the gospel message. So that's the ultimate goal. It's not about us. It's not about our fame. We're blessed to be able to do this. Um, those things are nice. We enjoy those things. Those things, on a, to a certain sense, aren't bad, but we're here for the fame of the Lord to be spread. Mm. So um, we're expecting God to move and hoping and praying that at least just one person comes to know the Lord tonight. Hey, 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 hey. impactful song is probably the first one it's um it's the same two most popular songs i have put together into one file it's following me and death is dead mm -hmm. um, yeah that one's fire those songs are both just straight up christian hip-hop just about um god and uh i've had a, had a little bit of tech like difficulties with those songs i don't think that's by accident i think it's spiritual warfare and um I think probably deep down, you know, someone out there has been impacted by those songs. That's the ultimate goal that, you know, that you pray for and you look for. So greater than anything, like, you know, when we take our last breath, you know, I'm not going to be counting up how many Grammys or how many streams I got. I'm going to be more concerned with um, what did I do for the kingdom ultimately, because those are the things that you're going to think about, right? The Bible says God's put eternity on man's heart. So those are the things that are more important. So. I think those two songs are probably the most impactful. What kind of uh, spiritual warfare have you felt like we've faced so far? And what, did, what does that mean for you? Probably sickness, tiredness, laziness. Honestly, I think it's more so the flesh. Um, I know, you know, all of us have been dealing with different things, right? I, I was finishing up school. That was, this past semester has been the hardest semester academically for me. 
so that consisted of me getting no sleep um, and that was really difficult that made me get down on my knees and really like press in with the Lord and like just saying God like I need you to help me through this so the show through through that wasn't on my mind a whole lot um, but we did fast and I fasted in the midst of that which made it even harder but God is faithful through it all it's not about me it's not about how good I am and I just have to remember that um, so I think what that means for me um, is just trying to do what God's in, instructed me to do and imparted in us, which is to be a good and faithful servant and steward well what He's given me. Um, and what He's given me partly is this gift of music that we're all slowly growing in and um, being a good steward of that. Hopefully later on the Lord will um, bless us with more. But for now, you know, we just have to be faithful with what we have. And right now, we're very blessed to have what we have. Mm, and uh, yeah. to be able to steward a show of this size, whether it's one person or whether it's 200, whether it's 200,000, whatever the size, you know, you want to be a good steward of that and have a good heart and fix your heart on the right things. And I think spiritual warfare is going to come regardless. Trials and difficulties are going to come, come regardless according to Scripture. So it's just remembering that the Lord is faithful to it all. Just doing your part. That's all I'm saying. It's good. Yeah. Murabito. Mir I don't know how you pronounce it. Let's go. But I can't go home. No, I can't stop trying. I'm chasing something real. While all my friends are lying to themselves. Saying they love our friends. Hylum, let's get it. The man we've all been waiting for. Um, honestly, I knew it was gonna be really good just because um like God had his hand on the whole thing. Uh I really thought that um everybody was gonna kill it. Um I knew that it was gonna be a lot of hard work, but I knew it'd all be worth it. Um and I was really nervous about the turnout. I wasn't sure if there would be a lot of people or if there wasn't. Um, so it was kind of filled with a little bit of uncertainty, but also confidence. Honestly, it was a hundred times what I thought it was going to be. Um, literally every artist came and like glorified God with their sets and did so amazing. The crowd, bro. The crowd, yeah, the crowd went crazy. surprised me so much. Everybody was jumping. Everybody was yelling. Everybody was singing. Um, and I literally like, my brain couldn't even comprehend like how crazy the show was um and then every single person that was at the altar gave their life to jesus at the end of the show so that was the best outcome i could have asked for and um i'm blown away and i my heart's so full and it was worth every single dollar spent it was worth every single hour put into it every single hour rehearsing every minute meeting with different youth pastors it was it's worth all of it, and if I could do it again, I would not change one single thing except for making Jamie rest his vocals. So. <laughs> Which song did you think was going to be the most impactful? That's a hard question. I think. Holding on and went on the bay, I thought 
was going to be the most impactful. Um, just because of like the message of the song, uh, holding on is really for people who like really struggle mm -hmm. with overthinking. Um, and then Wind on the Bay is just such a impactful like worship type song. Um, I think the most impactful song though was probably like while I was singing it, I think it was paid it all. Um, I could be wrong about that. It was kind of hard to like, you know, see how the audience was reacting to everything. But I feel like Paid It All was definitely the most impactful song. Um, just like singing the chorus and like the preaching behind it. Um, and I feel like God definitely got to use that song. So. Did you experience any spiritual warfare before the show? I, yeah, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I was feeling fine forever. And then the day before the show, my throat just started like aching in pain. And like I was struggling with losing my voice and my throat hurting really bad. And uh, it was really hard to trust God, but it really did build my faith up. Um, but literally so much stuff was trying to mess with me before the show, whether it be temptation or sickness. Um, so many things, stress. Uh, there's definitely a lot of spiritual warfare. You could just tell like anything that like was trying to come against us or could come against us was definitely it was definitely happening, but um, I guess like you always figure out why those things happen whenever like the outcome ends up exactly how it was. refuge nights documentary i definitely like a hundred percent i I'm, i missed out i feel so left out so i i'm excited to be there next year if he has one i'm gonna do my absolute best to make it i really i liked how they sat everyone each artist down and talked to them for the vlog or the documentary um and asked them um especially specifically about the spiritual warfare because i feel like not a lot of people talk about that enough um, especially when they're putting on an event like this. There was only one thing missing from this video, and I, I'm i wondering where AHA Clothing was. I know, I know they, that he pulled up to sell some shirts there, but I didn't see him in the vlog, unless I totally missed it. But anyway, no, this was a great video. Um, very well put together. I would love to do something like this for Hylum if, you know, if I do make it next year. I would love to help be a part of it in any way that I could. Um, but yeah, shout out to Hylum. I'll have all the artists that performed at Refuge Nights linked in the description. And I'll also have the documentary linked in the description so you can go watch it for yourself. Um, shout out Hylum again. This was a crazy night. It looked so good. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like this. And if you need prayer or have any questions about the Bible or your walk with Christ, DM me on Instagram. I'd love to start a conversation with you guys over there. Go be fruitful. Let's go.